Hello there my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took a tour through Pokestar Studios, made a movie, and then we also took down some Team Plasma grunts. In today's episode, we are going to continue on our adventure here in the city, but we're actually going to explore an area, the Verbank Complex, which we haven't before. A lot of you guys gave me suggestions on Pokemon that we should add to our team, and I will be adding a new member to our team today who is hiding in this grass somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and run around, and once I've found it, I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. So there we have it guys, this is the Pokemon I've been waiting for, it is a Growlithe level 11, it also has the ability Intimidate, which is the ability that I really wanted on this Pokemon, so let's go ahead and use Leaf Tornado, I have Nagini up in front for a reason, you know Growlithe has the type advantage on us, so we probably won't KO it, unless a crit comes out of nowhere, yes that happens once in a while to some of us, we get critted. We don't usually crit people, but we get critted a lot. Whoa, whoa, he needs to slow his roll. He's doing some serious damage there. All right, let's go for the Leaf Tornado. That should weaken it enough. There we go, perfect, perfect. That's what I want. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing out some Great Balls. If you guys remember, we got two Great Balls from the guards, and I also bought an extra two, just in case we might have to use them today. And let's see if this Growlithe will stay with us. Stay with us. We'll have fun, you'll be a great team member, and you'll go all the way to the top. There we have it, guys. Gotcha, Growlithe was caught. Woo, took a while, but there we go. Growlithe's data was added to the Pokedex. It says Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. It is a fire type. It says it's extremely loyal to its trainer. It will bark at those who approach the trainer unexpectedly and run them out of town. So, you know, when I was younger, the Growlithe sprites were a little bit different, and I always used to notice one thing about them was that Growlithe always seemed to be doing a certain action. He seemed to be a very excited puppy, and he was always, always barking at others, and that's why we're going to go ahead and call him Barky. So welcome to the team, Barky. With that, guys, we have added a Fire-type Pokemon to our team, giving Lost a lot of advantages for the upcoming area. If you guys remember, last time we were told to look for somewhere where a ship is, uh, a boat. So let's see if we can find that today. What's up, Roxy? I thought your movie was pretty good. So you saw it. That movie was, no, it wasn't a movie. It was me. I was so excited that I didn't really become Ryulu Man. Acting like that won't thrill or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue on as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studios people feel about that though. Oh, did you hear us? Well, it looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I don't feel really good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there was a lot of ruckus, but you can sail to Castelia City now. Alright, see you, Roxy, Mad Roxy. Okay, I guess I'll do my best as a captain. I'll excite thrill everyone by barreling through rough waves. Alright, Captain, finally. Maybe we can actually make our way to the next city now after all this Team Plasma commotion. You're going to Castelia City, right? Yep. I'm gonna look for Team Plasma. I can't forgive those guys. Hey, Captain, show us that ship you're so proud of. Of course, please, step this way. With that, guys, it looks like we are sailing to the next city. Finally, the sun is setting. It's beautiful. It's looking gorgeous. We're on a nice little boat. And I am very excited to be heading towards our next destination. Look at that beautiful skyline. Look at that town. And a very, 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 very... Adventurous day is ahead of us guys because there's still a lot for us to do. We have arrived in Castelia City Everyone we've arrived at Castelia City So this is Castelia City. It's much bigger than I'd heard, but it doesn't matter I'm gonna find Team Plasma no matter where they run. Oh, yeah, Rodri here. Let's register each other You don't you don't have my number dude I've known you the whole ten years. I've been alive, and you still don't have my number That's a strange ship a sailing ship in this day and age the last time I saw a sailing ship was on Supernatural when they saw a ghost sailing ship and they had to take care of it and it was, you know, it was a whole ordeal for those two brothers. Uh, and hey, look, what's going on? Welcome to Castelia City. It's the Castelia Harlequin Hunt. I bet this is your first visit to Castelia. What? He's giving us a bike? You don't just give people bikes. What am I gonna have to do for it? Am I gonna have to do something for it? It looks like this guy just is telling us about one of those little mini games around here. And that's cool with me, because we just got ourselves a bicycle. Oh, I'm so excited. We don't have to run around all the time anymore. We can finally, you know, put our shoes away and just 
ride our bicycles around town. And with that, there we have it, guys. Look at me. I got me a bicycle. Bicycle. Got me a bicycle. How? You like this? You like this business guy? I know you like it. I know you like it. Let's go check out the gym. And maybe we can just straight up take on the gym leader. Hey, what's going on? If you're looking for the gym leader, Berg, he said there might be trouble, and then he took off. You can go look for him if you'd like. Huh? Berg vanished again. Oh, hello, Iris. Something came up, and Berg isn't here right now. Hmm. Isn't Berg always vanishing, though? He always says he's got artist block and just goes wandering out of the gym. Hi there, who are you? Looking for Team Plasma, but Team Plasma disbanded two years ago. I guess that doesn't matter. You're having problems, so I'll help you out. Hmm. Now where would suspicious people go to hide? That's it. That might be where they are. All right, what's up, Iris? Haven't seen her in a while. Good grief. Berg and Iris are so similar. It looks like she went around the corner toward the Pokemon Center. We know where the Pokemon Center is, because my lovely lady lives down there by the Pokemon... Wait, do, do Nurse Joys live at the Pokemon Center? Do they? I never really thought about that. Are they kind of like nuns who live in like, mon in like you know, the churches? Do they live in the Pokemon Center? Hey, come on. Thumb Pier is past here. If you mention a suspicious place in Castellia City, the only places that come to mind are Narrow Street and here. Hey, who knows? I guess it's a mystery. Let's continue then and find where this pier is. This way, this way. Come on, have a look. Because it looks like Iris is really good at hide and go seek. Who would have thought? The little five-year-old girl? I don't know how old Iris is. Eight? Nine in this game? Maybe ten? You can go inside the sewers from here. What do you think? Seems pretty suspicious, right? Yeah. I mean, where else do the sleazy Team Plasma guys hide? Rodri, did you find Team Plasma? Yeah, dude. That's why we're chilling out here. Ah, those dirty Pokemon thieves. That means the only place I still haven't checked is Rodri, help me out. Yeah, I guess we're going. We're going. Slow your roll, my friend. How about you just take it easy? Yep, the sewers are a perfect place for hiding. Thanks, Iris. We'll be catching you later. Hey, you and your uh, crazy Pokemon you always have. She always was trying to teach me Pokemon moves and all this sort of stuff. I don't even know. Rodri, I need you to get tougher. Even I'm going to have trouble taking them all by myself. Anyways, it's okay. I'll take care of healing our Pokemon. All right, yo, I'm ready. Let's do it. Are you ready? Are, are you ready? Let's go. All right, let me go ahead and use a repel. Don't really want to be bumping into any random Pokemon. And since there's two of us, I'm guessing they're doubles battles. So we're not even going to bother with that, guys. We're not even going to bother with it. And, ooh, look. I got myself a twisted spoon. Hey, you know, once in a while, I can twist my own spoons, too. With, you know, just my psychicness of my mind. Hey! What do you want? Team Plasma, you villains! What? Don't treat us like villains and don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokemon. Liberate, huh? You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. And what's more, you use those stolen Pokemon like they're tools. Shut up! Hand over your Pokemon! Let's do this, Rodri! Alright guys, here we go! Rodri and Tommy versus... A couple Team Plasma grunts! Oh, well, let's go ahead and whoop their butts really quick. I don't think this will be too hard, especially since our Pokemon are kinda juiced. We've been training a lot, we have our starters ready to go, and we have a couple more team members now, which are also gonna come in very, very handy. Let's go ahead and do this. You know, we should be able to take them down. I am gonna go for the Leaf Tornado on Scraggy. Hopefully Pig Knight attacks the right Pokemon. Yes, thank you. Good call. Holy crap. Tommy's Pig Knight is... Man, that bacon is gonna be delicious someday. Isn't that weird? Do you ever think that people in the Pokemon world would eat like their Pig Knights like bacon? Because if you look around, there aren't other animals. The only animals are Pokemon. So what do people eat for meat? Probably Pokemon, right? I know I've seen a couple of the Pokemon animes where they would mention... Oh, like, uh, I don't remember what it was. I think it was, like, people were eating, like, Magikarp or something like that. Uh, and Team Rocket was selling it at one point. So I'm just wondering, does the bacon in Pokemon... Now, real, real conversation right here. Does the bacon from Pokemon in the Pokemon world come from Pig Knights? I don't know. It might. Who knows? Have you ever thought about that? Kind of crazy. With that, it looks like we have defeated the Team Plasma Grunts. Now, they're really tough. But whatever, we got the Pokemon we need. Now we flee. Dude, why do we always let them get away? Just come on. It's, they run away like bat rats. Okay, let's go further inside. There might be more in there. I don't think that's necessary, you two. Could you be Gym Leader Berg? Yes, sir. One and the same. I'm Berg. And there was no one suspicious beyond here. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. I'm concerned about Team Plasma as well. More importantly, shall we leave this place? For some reason, this sewer is bugging me. Huh? 
didn't you and the other gym leaders fight Team Plasma two years ago? Thanks for your help. Here, use this. And now you give me this? Dude, give me this from the start. We were literally in the sewers. I'll find those other Team Plasma punks. Uh, I'll never freaking Pokemon Thieves. No way. See you later, Tommy. You do you. You know, your hair's looking good. Keep jelling it up. He's gone. You there. That was an excellent demonstration of battling. The way you brought out the power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Plasma. Astounding. Simply astounding. Interesting as well, I see. Oh, who is that weird guy? Oh, man, there are some strange things happening here. Who was that? Well, no matter. What are you going to do? You can stay here and train your Pokemon. Maybe you should come challenge me, the gym leader. Be seeing you. All right, catch you later, Berg. Long time no see. Thanks for remembering me. You don't. No one ever remembers me in this game. It, it, it have two years really changed so much, guys. That's all I have to say. And leave me alone, rat. -ta 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 -ta. Let's get out of here. All right, so there's one more thing that I want to take care of today. Surprise, surprise, guys. I mentioned earlier that we're gonna be adding a new member to our team. I didn't mention that we're gonna be adding two today so we're in for a little bit of a surprise here because now we are gonna be heading up these stairs from the suggestions you guys have given me and in this patch of grass is our fourth team member I'm gonna run around we'll find it here in a little bit I'm very excited uh, so let's start looking and there we have it guys that's the Pokemon I've been looking for it is an Eevee level 18 Whoa, okay, so Eevee's gonna jump right into it with us. Eevee's actually higher level than Nagini. Who would have thought? Oh, man, it's gonna be a tough one now. This Pokemon was the other one you guys highly suggested. You told me, definitely come into the sewers, pick up an Eevee, and then, you know, it's gonna be a great addition to your team. So I'm very, very excited. I do believe that Eevee is gonna be the right choice. I love having Eevees on our team. It's always a great time. And, you know, this is the first time I'm really having the opportunity to add an Eevee. Uh, in a while now I don't want to risk it getting it much lower because uh, with my luck I'll probably hit a crit and KO it so let's start throwing the great ball guys and maybe just maybe this Eevee will stick around with us N no no I we're, we're gonna have to risk it aren't we we're gonna have to get into the red zone I also hear that it's actually kind of rare to find an Eevee in this patch of grass so if you're doing it have a little patience with it, because I'm guessing it's probably going to take you a little more time than it did for me. Let me go ahead. Come on. One more hit. Get it into the red zone. Don't KO it now. Okay. That's it. That's it. Whoa! We are taking some damage. With this little bit of damage left, I am going to throw out the Great Ball. Doing the AB trick, guys. And uh, let's hope for the best, my friends. Maybe this time around is when the Eevee sticks with us and, you know, joins our team and becomes really nice. There we have it, guys. Gotcha. Eevee was caught. So there we have it, guys. Kind of... Kind of exciting that we're adding Eevee to our team. It says Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. It is a normal type. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. That is perfect, and I am going to go ahead and give a nickname to our Eevee. I've thought ahead of this nickname, and I just thought, you know, it's one of those nicknames that uh, sound really nice. So we're going to go ahead and uh, following the pattern, call our nickname Aza. So welcome to the team Aza. With that, guys, we are ready to make our way out of here. Finally done here in the sewers. I need a shower both in real life and uh, in the Pokemon world You know, I'm kind of dirty right now. I definitely should hop in the shower I love that a nice cold shower wakes you up gets you ready even though it's kind of later in the day What? How, 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 what, what? how are Pokemon coming at me? I use the repel. Oh, is it higher level than me? Is that what's up with this? Yeah, we're the same level. We're almost out of here. Let me go Zubat. Stop holding me hostage. Okay, thank you. Time to get out of these sewers, guys. There's a lot of stuff for us to do. So with that, guys, it seems like we pretty much finished what we had to today, but what up, Iris? Your friend, he seemed pretty mad. Did everything go okay in the sewers? So what are you gonna do now? You ran into Gym Leader Berg in the sewers, didn't you? Maybe you should go to the Pokemon Gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure battling will help your Pokemon come to understand you better as a trainer, too. Thanks, Iris. Catch you later. When did Iris get so wise? If I remember correctly, she was not that wise last time we met her. All right, guys, so we have caught two new team members, and we are ready, we are pumped, and in the next episode, we are probably going to be going inside of Berg's gym. So if you guys have any tips on that fight, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Welcome to the team, Barky and Aza. We are more than happy to have you.